It's a beautiful blue sky day here at Wishwell Farms. Perfect day for planting vegetables. Before we head out and transplant vegetables, give you a quick look at the greenhouses. We got all kinds of red tomatoes coming on here. We've been picking in here for about a week. And now that we got a lot of sunny weather, they ought to really start coming on good. This is greenhouse number two. We got some full size fruit on the vines, but everything is still green in here. But these are looking really good. And in here is our third and final greenhouse tomato planting. They got some little tomatoes on them, just starting marble sized to golf ball sized tomatoes. These plants don't look the greatest. Had a little bit of 2,4-D chemical damage drift in here from one of the neighboring fields. And they've been kind of set back a little bit. You can see the tops of the leaves are just a little bit curled up and not normal looking. Hopefully they'll come out of it and we'll have a normal growing season in here. This greenhouse has our grape tomatoes in it. We've been picking a couple hundred pints every other day out of here. Looks like we're gonna have another good pick in here tomorrow. We stage our grape tomatoes into two plantings. So we have four rows over there, the ones that we've been picking. And then right here are our two final rows that we plant in here. And most of them are just in a flower stage, beginning to flower. I did see a couple small grape tomatoes starting in here. They got several weeks yet before they will be ready. This is our transplant greenhouse. That's what we call it, where we start all of our transplants from seed. It's getting pretty empty because we've planted quite a bit already. The peppers, zucchini, tomatoes, cucumbers, cantaloupes, eggplant have all been put in the ground. We just got to finish up some watermelon and I think some yellow squash and winter squash. And then we'll be done in here. Everything else back in here, those are uh, basil and cilantro herb pots that we sell at the farmer's markets. And we still have some lettuce and kale that we'll be putting out tonight. All right, it's time to get out in the field and get some transplanting done. This is a water wheel transplanter. We have it loaded with eggplant currently. And when we get out to the field, I'll show you how this machine works. First, we've got to fill the water wheel transplanter with water. Next, we add some fertilizer. This is just a starter pop-up fertilizer. Give the plants a little boost to help them take off and get established well. So the best thing about a water wheel transplanter is there's no mechanical parts that actually touch the plant. Two people were riding the back on those seats and each plant is actually hand placed into the hole that these spikes will produce as it rolls across the ground and punches the hole through the raised bed that has plastic laid down on it. currently planting eggplant and we are using a wheel with spikes on it that are spaced a foot and a half apart. So it just rolls across the top of the plastic, pokes a hole in the plastic, and as it does that, it's releasing a cup of fertilizer water into each hole. Now here's a better look at the water going into the wheel, and there's a hole underneath each spike. So as the spike punches through the plastic, it's releasing that shot of water into the hole. There, you can see each hole is full of water and we're just stuffing the plants by hand down into the hole and then that little muddy slurry will seal in around the plants and they're good to go. Pretty nifty little machine. All right, starting over here on the far left, we have one row of beets, then our bell peppers. We still have a row of onions to put out over there next to the beets. We're putting in one row of eggplant. 
several rows of tomatoes, cantaloupes, watermelons will be next in those blank rows, and then way over there on the other side are the zucchini and cucumbers, and finally up next to the woods on the very far side of the field will be winter squash. So today's May 17th, and this is about the time of the year that we like to set all of our transplants, all of our warm season crops into the ground. The risk of frost is usually about 100% gone. I have seen a late frost in mid-May to late May before, but it's very rare. So we're usually safe here in Ohio, setting all of our crops in the middle of May. Now, if you look carefully, you can see that the peppers and the eggplant that we're planting right now are two rows on each row of plastic. Those plants are able to be put much closer together but tomatoes and melons, zucchini and cucumbers, they all need to be just one single row on the plastic because they really spread out, push out much more. Doubling up these doesn't seem to affect the size of the peppers versus the tomatoes. If they were planted too close together, you would get lots of small tomatoes, lots of small cantaloupe. Same with the watermelon. So they need a lot more space to sprawl out to be able to produce large fruit unlike the peppers and egg. So many of the crops that we put in the ground yesterday and today will have multiple plantings. Uh, zucchini, cucumbers, cantaloupes, um, those will be planted three, four times. Now watermelons we just do once, peppers we only do once. So this water wheel transplanter has worked out fantastic for our operation. I've been using it for probably almost 20 years and we're using it on about 10 to 12 acres every year. Actually, we're down to about eight right now. Seems to be about the right amount of vegetables for our operation. Uh, we're putting out four acres on this half of the field right now. And on the other half of the field back there, we'll be putting another four acres out over the next few weeks and months, which will be the second, third, and fourth plantings of many of these crops. Now, if you're curious about this plastic mulch that we laid and how we did it, I'll throw some footage up real quick of us laying plastic last year. I did not film us laying the plastic this year because I was in a hurry, ran out of the house, and didn't grab my camera. All right, we're all finished up with transplanting for the day. I'm really looking forward to watching the crop grow throughout the summer months and being able to harvest the fruits of our labor and selling them at farmer's markets. Speaking of farmer's markets, what is your favorite vegetable to buy at farmer's markets? Or what is your favorite vegetable to plant in your own garden? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again real soon down on the farm.